Good evening, everyone. This is Pastor Sean with Christians Unite, sponsored by Carly Films. And this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. In this episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be reading 2nd and 1st John. So let's begin in 2nd John. Starting in verse 28, because we do read in reverse. Purity of life. And now, little children, abide in him, that when ye shall appear, we have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If ye know that he is righteous, he know that every one that does righteousness is born of him. So, if we have the heart of a child and are pure, we'll be right before God. Now, when he comes back, we need to be ready that our hearts are in the right place. Verse 18, Spirit of the Antichrist. Little children, it is the last time, and as ye heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there, there are many Antichrists, whereas we know that it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would not, no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know that not the truth, but because ye knew it not, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is Christ? He is Antichrist, that denieth the Father and the Son. Whoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he hath acknowledged the Son, hath the Father also. Let that therefore abide in you which you have heard from the beginning. If that which you have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, you should also continue in the Son and the Father. And this is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. These things I have written unto concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which you have received of him that abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you of all things, and in truth, and is no lie. And even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. So what this passage is talking about is Antichrist. Um, so anyone that comes to you and teaches anything that does not say that Jesus Christ is Lord, um, and talks about God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, these are antichrists that say things that are counter to what the Bible says. We need to be weary of these people because they speak lies. So, always follow the truth. This is what's important to know. Starting in verse 15. Love of the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not the Father, but is the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust therefore, but he that doth the will of God abideth forever. So basically this is talking about people that live in the world, and that's all they care about like only worldly things, um, human pleasure, um, if you're only focused on things that are here and now. Starting in verse 7, love for one another. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye had heard from the beginning. The old commandment in the world which ye had heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which this thing is true in him and in you because the darkness is past and the true light now shineth he that saith he is in the light and have haveth or hateth his brother in the darkness even until now he that loveth his brother abideth in the light and there is none occasion of stumbling in him but he that hath his hateth his brother in the darkness and walketh in the darkness and knoweth knoweth not whither he go because the darkness had blinded his eyes I write unto you little children because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake 
I write you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because you have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because you knew him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and you have overcometh the wicked one. So this second section of John, Second John, is talking about us having light. So if we have light, we will love our brothers. Now, you can't have light and darkness. So you need to be in the light and not have the wicked darkness in you. Because if you hate your brother, how can you say you have the light? So that's what that's trying to say. We need to fill ourselves with light instead of darkness. Starting in verse 1. My little children, these things I write unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the appropriation for our sin, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Obedience to his commandments. And hereby we do not know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But whose keepeth the word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith that he abideth in him, oft himself also to walk, even as he walked. So we should be walking in righteousness. Now, we will sin, uh, even as Christians. Um, we have the ability to overcome sin as a Christian, but we still have our sin nature intact. But we do have Jesus Christ to wash those sins away. Now we're going to read 1 John, starting in verse 8. Confession of sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all the unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. So again, even as Christians, we have sins. Now we need to repent of those sins and change our lifestyles. Starting in verse 5. Walk in the light. This then is the message which we had heard of him, and declared unto you that God is the light, and him is no darkness at all. If we say that we follow fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, and he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sins. So, sort of just like in chapter 2, uh, we need to be walking in the light. Starting in verse 1. Introduction. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness and shew that unto that eternal life which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us, that which we have seen and heard declared we went unto you, and ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with the Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write unto you, that your joy may be full. So this is just an introduction to 1 John, um, showing that Jesus Christ is the focus. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. Please consider donating to our ministry and community. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.